Hi, I'm Caroline Cooper from Naturally Loyal and welcome to the next in my mini video series on the A to Z of creating your service culture. And today we're on to letter C and C is for consistency. So just imagine you have a favourite restaurant, you love going there, the service is always fantastic and the food is really good as well. And you decide that you're going to take some friends there as a bit of a treat for them because you're always raving about this restaurant. And as the evening progresses, you become really disappointed. The food's not up to scratch. And actually the service has been really poor this evening. Now on investigation, you discover that the head chef is off and the restaurant manager is on holiday. But as a customer, you've got the same menu, you're paying the same, don't you expect to have the same level of service? Well, of course you do. And in this occasion, you're really disappointed and you're actually a little bit embarrassed because you've invited your friends along. And sadly, when you don't have consistency, from your customer's point of view, you are only as good as their last experience. So if you deliver an inconsistent level of service and it drops below what people expect, then they're going to be very disappointed. And yes, you might not always lose that customer, but certainly you're not going to be bringing your friends next time. In order to get that consistency, there are a number of things that we need to do. First of all, that consistency comes from being consistent in terms of your expectations and your service levels. So for example, if your team works shifts, and at some point they report to um, one manager on one shift and they might report to another manager on another shift, is there consistency in terms of their expectations? Are those standards laid down anywhere? What are the systems that are in place which help people to maintain those standards? So if somebody is off sick or on holiday, that everybody in your business can achieve that standard. It's not just your exceptional team members, but your average team members should also be able to deliver your service levels and your, meet your standards. Otherwise, not only do they get frustrated, but so do your customers. So it shouldn't matter whether it is your customer's second visit, their seventh visit, or their 70th visit, we want to ensure that they are getting a consistent level of service. So that's all for consistency, and tomorrow we're going to be on to the letter D. I look forward to seeing you then. Bye for now.